Hello YouTube, Brad with OnlineGolfLessons.net. How can I help you with your golf swing? In the comments, put your question, I'll make a video. Happy Veterans Day. God bless our heroes. I wish I could give you all a big hug, buy you a beer. This is your day. Every damn day should be your day because we exist due to your service. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Jay wants a video on how to keep the weight forward. He was taught traditional instruction of shifting off the ball and loading up to the right, load it up to the right so you can do nothing with it on the way down. This was awful advice. In defense of past teachers, they didn't have $250,000 phantom cameras. They couldn't measure in 3D. They didn't have radar. It's just still a little perplexing to me that they couldn't see that Jack and Arnold weren't swinging off the ball. Nobody was. They didn't see Hall of Fame instructor Jack Rout holding a young Jack Nicholas by his super long hair. Oh, I wish I kept that picture when I had it. Forcing him to tilt and turn. Jack Rout knew what to do. Anyways, let's focus on some commands or feels. The, the swing, it's not a thought. It's a feel, period. You have to find your personal feel and then do it over and over. So you got to throw some darts at the wall. Here's some different commands, right? And I'll give you some. It will ingrain once you find your feel. So... Wait forward, two critical words in our system that are often misrepresented, unfairly, shocking. All we want is for golfers to turn their trail hip during the backswing. And that's not happening, by and large. Instead, we have droves of beginners and intermediates swaying back with the club. Watch players on TV. Modern players aren't swaying at all. And yes, we want you to exaggerate weight forward way more than they do. We, we know there's pressure on the back foot at the top, but it goes there properly with proper knee linkage. Highly adaptive expert players like Brooks Kepka and Rory McIlroy, you can name them all, they already know this. They know how to turn. They don't need these two words. Most golfers do. So feel number one I want you to do is get bent forward, flex the knees, right? So I'm going to take that bent forward, flex the knees, and face you, caddy view, or face on if I use those words. People ask, what do those mean? All right? That's how I'm filming this. Caddy view, face on, or I call it the shaking hands view, right? About sternum height if you're watching yourself or filming your swing for me. So feel number one, place both your hands on the trail hip and just push it back. This is big for understanding. Where does the left butt cheek go when the trail hip is pushed back for a right-handed golfer? If you didn't know that when you push the trail hip back, that the front knee goes over the shoe and the trail leg straightens, that's okay. This just became the most important video you've ever seen with golf instruction. I can promise you that. And I didn't come up with this information. I'm just passing it along in my style, having been trained for almost a decade with Andy Plummer and the Stack and Tilt Network. So watch what the left knee does, All right? This is called knee linkage. Push the trail hip back, watch the forward knee. The trail leg straightening is critical for joint safety and also to unlock the hips. That's where we get all that turn. But we also keep the weight forward doing this. And more than keeping the weight forward, we're just not swaying back, right? Okay, so let's talk about feel number two. We're taking that information from feel one, kind of expounding on it, we take the club back slowly and feel the left knee fall over the shoe incremental to the club going back. Don't let your knee translator move back with the club again exaggeration you need lots of it and you need lots of reps just to feel that trail hip turn forward knee slowly falling over the shoe not kicking in and then you can start to hit the balls like this i'll, I'll do an example Yes, it looks exaggerated. Don't worry. It's not going to be a reverse pivot. It's not going to be it's exaggerated when you start playing around with it. But you've got to exaggerate something. I always say this. Exaggerate something on one end. If you're doing it wrong on the other, we'll meet in the middle. That's how instruction works. Exaggerated feels. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. And then we'll get to feel number three. Bam! Smacked it. Okay, so feel three I've got on paper here. And all I'm doing is hitting balls with all of my weight forward. I feel all of it on that forward foot and I'm keeping it there. So the only thing I have to think about once I put all that weight there is extending after I hit the ball. All my weight is forward and then I extend. Oh, baby. 
I haven't been playing much, haven't hit a lot of balls, I've been busy teaching online lessons. Oh, but those shots felt really good. Just a few feels there. I have many more. If you unlock my video vault program, the stack and tilt lessons that I have, I'll link my website, onlinegolflessons.net, in the comments. You're gonna love it, 15 bucks for the program. More feels for Wait Forward. Videos coming up, maybe more today, definitely more tomorrow. I want you to tell me what you want made in the comments. Happy Veterans Day, everybody.